It's just something about when you look good, smell good, you actually start to feel good. You come around if I don't do too much. We had our downs, but we had way more ups. Let's make love. That be the reason that you always hit me up. I swear, you like the way I fuck, cause I get. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sadia, aka Sadi the Boss Mama. Today I'm going to teach you how to be more confident. I think I already have a video on this, but it didn't get that much views, which is okay because it's a new season, it's a new time around, so I'm going to give it another try. But make sure you guys check out that other video too because it may just help you out. Before we get started, please make sure I hit that like button and that subscribe button because you're going to want to see more of me. It may not be now, it may be later though. Okay, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Now let's begin. I wasn't always this confident, I swear to you. Right hand on the Bible, I wasn't always this confident. And it really just came with, I would say, age and the fact that I've been through some things. I know people have been through way more than me. I am actually grateful that i haven't been through a lot but i am growing up i did get bullied in school so that right there put the icing on the cake for me that was really my past trauma i got bullied from second grade all the way to high school i didn't have when i moved to mississippi i had a um i started developing this skin issue a bunch of different hyperpigmentation was on me so when you're in school I look different from everyone else and really nobody really wanted to hang around me and also because I was skinny <laughs> and I'm laughing is because <laughs> I'm laughing because most most of the people that call me skinny are fat right now but that is beside the topic you know but like I said I wasn't always this confident and today I'm just coming on here to tell you guys how to be more confident coming from a girl who wasn't that confident so make sure y'all get y'all journals write this stuff down take y'all notes like babes what are you doing take those notes today if you need a journal make sure you hit that link in my description because I made a journal just for you babe but number one you want to visualize your highest self and then show up as her okay yes it's all about visualization okay and i say this when i say this i mean it in the best way you know looking back on it in school i didn't want to be that girl so if today and i saw what was going on i would be like no there's no way i would be that girl i don't want to be that girl and I'm, I feel bad for her, but that ain't me, okay? So, yeah. Now, if I was that girl getting bullied, looking at me, I would definitely say I want to be like her. So, visualize something that's not going on right now. You may not be confident. Visualize what a confident person looks like. Go on YouTube like you're doing right now. You're taking the first steps into realizing what is a confident person. Look up all those things and then start doing it. No, it's not going to work overnight. But as long as you're taking action, then yeah. Be the best version of yourself. Bullied me was not the best version of myself. Bullied me was depressed. Um, always felt ugly, always felt um, down. Uh, I just wasn't my highest, I wasn't at my highest potential and I knew it was there, but I just still didn't do it. Be the best version of yourself. Some days you may be down, you may be sad, but it doesn't always have to be that way, trust me. Pick yourself up, do some exercises, um, start um, a yoga class. Whatever you want to do, start doing those things. Pay attention to your physical appearance. Sometimes a change will not hurt, trust me. Um, this can be as simple as dyeing your hair, um, getting extensions, getting a new wardrobe. You, you may have some clothes that just don't fit with you anymore. So change your wardrobe up, get you some shoes, uh, start getting your nails done. You don't have to, start getting your toes done if you want. Uh, just do things that is going to make you more confident because at the end of the day this is about what makes you happy i have on here fake it till you make it but 
I don't know. I don't, I agree, but I don't agree to like a certain extent because if you fake this person, you may just get tired of faking. You may be like, I cannot do this persona anymore. So I, I don't want you to like fake it till you make it. I want you to do it. Do it. Don't fake it. Be confident. Okay, be happy. Don't fake it. Don't be like, oh, I'm happy, but you're really sad. No, actually do stuff that's going to make you happy. Do stuff that's going to make you confident. If you want to be more confident, then you need to start treating yourself with love. And I mean this in the kindest way. You want to be more gentle and caring towards yourself, okay? Just because old you wasn't caring, doesn't mean new you can't be caring, okay? Since when I was getting bullied, I looked back on, I turned towards having sex to make it seem like I was getting the attention that I needed, which was not the case. Um, I wouldn't dare want my daughter to say, well, I need to go have sex because that means that this guy likes me, this girl likes me. Um, because your body is on temple. So, you need to treat it as if it is a temple. Having sex with multiple partners, that's that's not that's not good. But like I said, just because you did it before doesn't mean you have to do it again. Another tip on being confident is to smell good. Now, oh y'all seen in most of my vlogs, I love me some perfume. I love smelling good. I love it. I live for it. It's the best thing ever. But just know that. You don't always have to get perfume. You can smell good by changing up your body care, your shower care, get you some new body wash, some soap, get you some whatever like scented scrubs, whatever the case may be. But now on the other hand, if you do like perfume, then Marshalls have plenty. Go to Ulta, Sephora, whatever. I don't actually know if Sephora sells perfume. I haven't been there like so long. <laughs> so somebody fill me in because I really don't know. But I do know Ulta has some, and they have some of the best of the best. But I'm not saying you have to go spending that much money. If not, go to Marshalls, Ross, whatever the case may be. Smell good, baby. It's just something about when you look good, smell good, you actually start to feel good. Like, you feel like that bitch. And I mean, I would no disrespect. Y'all know by now. But do those things. Like, change up your appearance. Start smelling good, change up your shower routine, and I promise you, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. Compliments are gonna start rolling in, and all of that, all of the above. Work out, oh my goodness, yes. Y'all, when Saint starts daycare, I promise y'all, I am signing up for yoga class. I am going to run to find me a yoga class because I like, it's time that I get out the house start doing things that I want to do I need to work on my body I am ready to work on my body my body is not the best and that's okay a confident girl isn't afraid of anything the only thing you should fear is the Lord okay but don't be afraid old me timid shy nervous scared new me no okay go in with a positive attitude and just heads up do not be afraid. And last but not least, you guys may not know what's coming up, but do not compare yourself to others. And this has to be last because one thing for sure, everyone's on social media. I mean, everyone. Yes, everyone is on social media. Yes. But when you get on social media, what are you, how are you utilizing it? Because a lot of people are actually on there because they're working. Some people are on there because they're just having fun. Then you got the other people on there that's comparing. Like, oh my goodness, Brittany has bigger tits than me. I, that's not fair. Or this girl, she looks better than me. Or this and that, the third. Or this, this is a happy couple. I see that she's not a single mama, but I am. All of that is so self-draining and you're doing it to yourself and then you get into a depression and then you wonder why you're depressed because you're making yourself depressed. Then nobody do that but you. Fuck Brittany. Who cares about Tiffany? Who cares about that? Like nobody cares, okay? That is social media. You're only seeing pictures, 15 seconds, one minute, and you are like, oh, that life is so perfect. No, no, no. And that is why I tell people I'm not perfect. That's why I share my stories, my stripper story. I, I, Cause I'm not perfect and I will never be perfect. 
but you're is no need to compare yourself to others you're beautiful you're gorgeous you can do this you can do that but you have to know it okay you have to know it so guys before you exit this video i better see some notes written down okay i don't know how i'm gonna see it but i uh, hopefully hopefully you guys wrote some notes down because I want to know what is your favorite one, which is your favorite tip. Leave it in the comments down below because I'm going to be reading. Okay. But yes, if you guys like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and make sure y'all subscribe.